Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome to your Friday. I hope you've had a lovely, smooth week, wherever you are. Sorry for being a bit late. I lost track of time while I was editing and chatting with Dinklebean. I hope you're all okay. Welcome back to a bit of Sons of the Forest. Before I get started with anything story-related, though, I will uh, bring people up to speed who haven't been watching, so don't worry. Um, please know that on the YouTube side of things, I'm still working to try and get armor bullshittery out the door. So it's Vietnam, Prairie Fire. Beneath the live stream is a Google sheet which lists a whole bunch of issues that I'm working through. Basically, it's in the la well, it's in the quality assurance at the very end of the process. I've got about 20 issues left, but my gut tells me it's more like 40 to 45. I did have a brief watch through of the test render and I went oof at some of the at some of the choices that I made uh, to fix some other issues so yeah it, it does need some more polish and there is one scene I think I might just cut it out I just can't make it work it's weird yeah we'll see we'll see um yeah, anyway, so welcome indeed, I hope you're okay. Uh, I can't, mm, I'm not sure when it will be ready. I will work over this weekend, I, I, I want to work over the weekend, try and get the sucker done for you. So, um, yeah. So, armor bullshittery being worked on. So, hang on a minute, close that tab. Sorry, yes, to answer the question, uh, so that song was from the, the Sons of the Forest soundtrack. That one was called Misery, I believe. Hang on. Right, drop into the game. There we go. Right, can you see the game? And also, is the filter on? I might need to turn it off if it is on. No, it's not on. Okay. Right. So, welcome to Sons of the Forest. Now, for those who haven't been watching at all, uh, a brief recap of what's going on. Well, in the very first game, spoiler warning, uh, we were a survivor who crash-landed on an, a mysterious peninsula, only to discover the presence of cannibal tribes that were killing everybody. And then, shortly after that, the presence of a pharmaceutical company called Sahara Industries, mysteriously on the island. Shenanigans ensued, and it turns out that the island was actually the centre of research for anti-aging technologies, for there was, on that peninsula... Sorry, pardon me. Sorry, just cleared my throat there. There was on that peninsula a peculiar obelisk, a sort of mysterious, almost magical artifact of unknown origin that the cannibals were presumably worshipping and that Sahara Pharmaceuticals were experimenting with. It seems that the artifact had the ability to hideously mutate people put into it, but also tantalizingly had the ability to resurrect the deceased. As you can, I, you know, you can clearly see the applications from a medical science perspective. Anyway, so in the forest too, um, Sons of the Forest, uh, we are not on the same peninsula, as far as I can tell. This is a completely different island, and we're not the same protagonist either. I think it's been decades since the first game. I surmise that based on the fact that I found a book written by the now adult author, uh, so the now adult son of the original protagonist, who was about 10 in the events of the first game. So I presume decades have passed since then. As for, as for Sahara Therapeutics, or Sahara Pharmaceuticals rather, don't know. But they have a competitor. On this island, Puff Corp seem to be a pharmaceutical company that have purchased, I again, assume, this island. I found the newspaper cutting which said uh, the purchase of an island. Hang on. Pull this down. Can I pull it down? This is just the temporary shelter that I used to sleep. No? Why can't I pull it down? There we go. Right, just a bit of tarp and a stick. Okay, um, so yes, we found uh, that they've purchased an island, and I can assume, based on the horror show that's occurring here, Cannibals and Mutants, that there is somewhere another artifact. There's something else. 
people are also coming here, just like the Prior Peninsula, but these ones seem, well, a lot more organised and recent. I'm finding large yachts. That one's called, I think, The Good Times. What, what was this one called? The Evening Star. So I'm finding these large yachts and there are there are corpses of what look like robed cultists aboard wearing these flowery uh, sort of like, what are they called? Like a, a crown made out of flowers. So they're coming here and I keep finding mysterious drawings. I found this, where is it? Not that. Cycle through them. So it's getting dark. So I found this creepy-ass drawing, I don't know how well you can see that, of what looked like giant floating lightning balls beneath figures, I think? Are they spikes of a cave? I, I don't know. Weird-ass drawing. Oh, it got very dark very quick. Maybe I should have slept again. A note to, to someone called Silas. Blow it up. Blow the wall right out. You'll be able to sneak in. Everyone will be at the party. Don't know what that means. And then I found this, Silas. The entrance will be in Puffton's home. X marks the spot. So Puffton is the CEO of Puff Corp, and he's apparently he's gone missing about seven months ago. So yes, as for me, I'm not entirely sure who I am. I think I might be a journalist. Uh, and I crashed here in a helicopter that was shot down. There were some mercenaries. Aha. Virginia's here. I can see her, her light. She is very mysterious. I really hope she becomes plot central. You'll see her shortly. For those who haven't seen her, I'll explain in a minute. Or rather, I can't explain her. That's the trick. That's the problem. Sorry, in the distance, you see that tiny blue light? I will sleep and, uh... Yeah, so put down a small tarp. So mechanically, the game has a whole bunch of cool improvements to do with its building system. Instead of what before, where you just paint the, like put down a ghost of a of an item and then paint by numbers there's lots of contextual building uh, cues like that see when you see the dotted line you can modify structures by adding stuff with cool little animations right we'll sleep hopefully we don't get jumped in the middle of the night oops spoke too soon we got jumped in the middle of the night whoa holy shit is that a mutant or just oh god i can't see shit hang on a second let me just turn up the filter for you maybe i should just run away Maybe I should probably just run away from this. Oh god, yeah, I should probably just run. What the fuck? What the fuck? I've never seen that before. Run, 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 run. Oh god. God, 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 god. Fuck off. These are the ones without eyes. They have no eyes. Run, 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 run. I've got no energy. Fuck. Where's my, where's my unicycle? Okay, stop in the middle of the, the desert and eat... Uh, the desert, the beach and eat an, an M uh, MRE and an energy drink. And, God, is she making creepy noises behind me? Well, that's frightening. Okay, what happened to that fucking stupid unicycle that I had? I had a unicycle. It's over here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Uh, can I have the arrow back? I need the arrow. They're, they're quite rare. Fuck. Okay, we'll all run away. Yeah, do these ones have eyes? I don't think they do. Yeah, she can't see me. Where's my torch? Equip the torch. Look. The people here have been hideously mutated. Okay, ignore her. Just go. Let's not get surrounded by mutants and murdered. Okay, I found this goofy unicycle. They're probably going to laugh at me. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Here we go. I don't think there's been a single person, there hasn't been a single cool person to ever ride a unicycle. I'm going to make that claim. Not in the history of the universe has any cool person, uh, uh, there, no one cool has ever ridden a unicycle. Right. Feels like the most dweeby form of transportation. As I said yesterday, I was at London Victoria one time commuting before I became a full-time YouTuber and a gentleman wearing a waistcoat and if, if memory, my memory's foggy, he might have had a handlebar moustache, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he was one of these hipsters or whatever. But he went by on one of these electric unicycles and he looked like the biggest dweeb. 
All right. What was that? Oh Jesus Christ! No bloody hell! Fuck a duck! Fuck a duck! Fuck a duck! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Never mind the cannibals. Moose. Mises. Moosei. Did he steal my unicycle? Oh no, wait, it's here. <laughs> right. Sorry about that for anyone resting. Uh, a, a meese, moose, my, meeses, moose, whatever. Thing with horns. Came at me. Um, right, so what am I doing? Well, obviously I was trying to rest, but I got jumped by weird people. Where am I? What's that down there? Oh, it's a glider. We're actually not that far from home. Yeah, let's go. Let's get the fucking out of here. Let's go home. I'll rest at home. Right. Uh, let's equip a... There we go. Torch. I can't see shit. Can you see shit? I can't see shit. You guys got a filter, so it's way brighter for you, but for me it's fucking dark. Alright. Like that, see? Hang on. Anyway, for those joining, I hope you're all okay. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get armor bullshittery out of the door. Also, I, th I thought I saw Nep a minute ago in the chat. Nep, if you're there, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely morning. Welcome indeed. Okay. Oh, it's the golf cart. Wait, is this the same golf cart that I left? No, I think it might be a different golf cart. Hang on. Jump off this. Yeah, look, dead cultists wearing their robes. Okay, let's not wait here too long. What's that? Huh? Circuit board and a paper target. Oh, cool. Okay. Stick that up on a wall back back at the uh, back at my home. Thank you, Delta and Rip Tour. Nep is just here to shit talk me. I wouldn't have it any other way. And welcome indeed, Nep. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely morning. Right. Uh, hang on. Jesus, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ, not sorry to you. Get out of my way, get out of my way. Oh, fuck, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oop. Fuck, 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 revert. It really, it beeps when you go backwards? What? Why would a unicycle need to beep when you're going backwards? It's not a heavy vehicle. If you bump into someone, you fall off the unicycle and look even more like a bell end. The whole point of a beeping is that, like, if you're going to hurt someone behind you. Right. Where am I going? I'm lost. Uh, I went completely the wrong way. I followed the road. I should have gone this way. Technically, there's no road that way. Okay, take a right. Then go that way. Okay. Fuck, it's dark. It's getting a bit brighter. Okay, then we took a hard right. Whoa. Oh, is that the... I think this is the cannibal camp where I first... Antagonize them. Oh no, wait. Ooh, hello. Let's, uh. Bonk. I don't think the cannibals are home. It's another one of their villages. Oh no, wait, they are home. Is that a giant? I think that's a giant. They've got large versions of them. Yeah, they're here. Nice and quiet, okay? So long as we do not make a loud noise and disturb them. Yeah, look. He's got like a whole spinal cord on that club. And look at this. So what's this about? More questions. They're wearing these 3D printed masks. He's got like a gold one. I don't know why. It seems to be the ones that are in charge that are wearing those. Oh, hang on. Eat some... Hang on. Oh, got pot noodles. That's nice. Are these rotten? Yeah, rotten oysters. I'll drop some rotten, rotten oysters for them. Whoops. Shh, shh, shh. Shit, 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 shit. I'm not here. He's just going for a wee-wee. Fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Hang on. Tell you what. I'm one of you. Look. I have a mask. See? I found it. Well, I printed it. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm going to ignore that buzzer, because that's going to be an Amazon dude just trying to get in. Oh, shit. They're not convinced. What was that gesture that she did? She was laughing? Time to go, time to go, time to go. 
strange. Fuck, what am I doing? Fuck. Fuck, what am I doing? What am I doing? They're still behind me, I can hear them. Leave me alone! Ow, damn it! I need to find the road. Ouch. Oh god, 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 oh god! Ooh, stylish. Oh look, soldiers maybe? What are these guys? Hang on. Yeah, heavily decomposed. What's that? Just a box. Ah, arrows. Okay. Duct tape, 3D printer stuff. Why am I not taking one of their helmets? Surely it's better protection than bone armor. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, just follow the river. The, yeah, we, we built a base at the base of this river. Okay. Hang on. Let's have an energy bar. Right. The helmet is dirty. Then wash it. Hang on. Let's go. Right. So the good news is I've managed to find another radio for the camp. I keep breaking it because I'm stupid. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're here. The digger. Is it the same digger? So construction... Yeah, there's. Lot, I keep finding construction machinery. Both surveyors and... Um, yeah, so someone's building something here. I found a bunker as well that was under construction. I can't see anything. Uh, okay, I know where I am. So we go this way. Yep. Yeah. Then the home should be just down here. Fucking hell. Oh, Jesus. Might need to take a quick yeah detour to the... Wait, is that one of my golf carts? Oh, yes, I put that there earlier, didn't I? Okay. Right, we're nearly home. Yeah, this is the clearing with the dead cultists in the middle. There's a pile of them there. Interesting, is it getting colder? Are we about to get some snow? Whoa. Thank you, Delta Vol. Here we are. So welcome to my base camp. So for those who have been yeah, have not been watching, we've set up a small base camp here. There's actually I wasn't the only survivor. A gentleman called Kelvin made it, although he took a head injury, so he can't actually speak. Hey Kelvin. You're right, mate. Hang on, let me just get the fire lit again. There we go. Get the fire lit. Get a stick in my inventory. Contextual interface to make the fire. And then get some firewood. Oh, well done. Kelvin's been stacking the firewood. Again, look for the little white dots. So I don't need to add ingredients. It's just There we go. How you doing, Kelvin? You okay? So yes, again, speaking to those who haven't been watching. So Kelvin and I crashed and we managed to pull ourselves to the shore. I was actually pistol whipped. Some guy that I didn't recognize hit me in the face. I think it might be a guy called... Is it Zhang? Uh, who works in legal for the Puffton Corporation. Apparently he's a disavowed employee or something. Oh. I should probably pull down that cabin for parts. Mm. Is Kelvin the love interest? I don't know. Maybe if you swing that way. Right. Okay, let's just let's, yeah, sleep to make it daylight if I need sleep. Also, I'm quite thirsty. Hang on. Let me go and... Uh, fill up this pot. Boil some water. There we go. Oh, it's daylight anyway. 
How is the sequel compared to the first game? It hasn't been long enough for Super, so bear with me. Mechanically, though, it's an upgrade in almost every, every way. Uh, I've been very impressed so far with both the overall building mechanics, the overall uh, level of polish compared to the first one, uh, the, the new building menu, the NPC system. Yeah, so far so good. The map is huge, absolutely huge, with lots of things to see. I'm still finding them, but bear with me. I can't give you any sort of concrete anything until uh, I, I play it more. Okay, one second. Take out this canteen. We'll leave the pot on the, uh, on the stove. Yeah, the game has had lots of love put into it. The cannibals and the, the creative things that they wear, how they react when both wounded and interacting with you. They seem to be showing way more emotion. They emote a lot more than they did previously. You've only seen a group play. How is it to play solo? So far, so good. Full of uh, slow burn intrigue. Uh, yeah, but I do look forward to doing it cooperatively as well to see how it feels. Right. Yeah, Kelvin probably needed... Need, yeah, he's run off to the beach. He's taking a shit. Uh-oh. That's not Kelvin. That looks like a proper mutant. Yeah, it's one of those really fucked up mutants. Those ones don't have eyes. Or arms, and it's coming. Fuck. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! I need something bigger. Fuck! Don't eat me! I need something bigger. Let's get something bigger. Do I have an explosive arrow? I do. Uh, how do I quit? Oh, I, I, sorry, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Oh, Jesus Christ! Go down, explosive arrow. Fuck you! So these things were spewing a sort of goo all over the walls of their caves? And things were being stuck into the goo, like a spider preserving its food. This entire... look at it. They are indeed think, giant toes, almost. Yeah, something has horrendously fucking mutated this thing. And again, we seem to be doing... I don't know why... I don't know why we're doing this. Why are we doing this? Once again, there's no reason to be doing that. Jesus. Okay. Okay, the water's ready. Get the canteen. Okay, fill it up. Hold down E. There we go. I'll take that water with me. And then I'll drink the rest of this water. So take this. Whoops, sorry. It's already in my hands. And just drink it. Uh, currently it's normal, Hellis. There we go. Should have put it back on the thing. Okay then, so... Yes, welcome to my home that I'm that I'm building. So, uh, Kelvin has been busy. So the NPC system means that they will gather resources themselves, even cut down trees. It's pretty cool. And uh, deposit them in the storage boxes in your base. So I was working on a cabin here. That was my initial one. But that was just like a paint-by-numbers job, as in you just put it down. But yeah, so the game seems to have heavily expanded its building system. Uh, both uh, sort of tile... Uh, it's, it's very rust, rust now, essentially. Okay. Let me just do some quick building before I go off and explore some more. It would be nice to get this place finished. And again, the VIP hasn't shown up yet, just like yesterday evening. So there's a particular character who is the most intriguing so far. Hang on. I put a geotag on her. She'll probably turn up soon. <clears throat> okay. Why do I keep calling her the VIP? Well, for those who are joining the live stream who don't know, fuck, what I'm talking about. Hang on. Uh, drop this rotten fish. What have I got? I've got some good... Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, just go with the regular arrow. Fuck it. We'll try and fight in melee if we can. Save the arrows. You guys can fuck off. In fact, you guys can eat a grenade. Helicopter. One, two... Three. Damn. The bad throw. Yeah, this is another mystery. We keep getting followed by a helicopter. Right, so it is me. I thought it was... I, I suspected it might have been following Virginia. It's definitely following me. 
It seems to be going from point from campfire to campfire, monitoring something. But why aren't they trying to save us? His armor will actually block my blows where he has armor. There's hitboxes on them. And look, he's wearing a shirt. Fuck off. Ouch. Get out of here. Okay. You better get out of it before she comes back. Alright. So, let's build up the walls. Get a roof on before it starts pissing it down again. Don't make me regret showing you mercy, man. Get out of here. Right. Okay, so... I put this little ramp here to climb up easily. This as well. Okay, so I need to put... What was it again? Yeah, put this here for the sake of climbing. Should have grabbed two. Yeah, he's wounded. I think he's resting, then he gets up and goes away. Yeah, he's limping away. Alright. So, if I go up here, if I place that there, right? And then place this here. To give our roof... Yeah, there we go. Give our roof. Right, then I should be able to easily climb up and work on the top. Oh. That's not the same dude. You want to you want to make something of this man? Hmm. There's a poison arrow. Mhm. Mm okay. So yes. Oh, he's going to trip on the trap. Uh, excuse me. He's gone inside. Get out of here, dingus. <laughs> What's wrong with your eyes? Is that a cross on your chest? Painted? I think it is. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. But that will. Nice try. Smart. Anyway, so as for the building system. So look at this, as I keep showing. Yeah, so it's very rust now. And the individual planks themselves, so the individual logs, you can chop up into smaller, smaller logs, which do their own separate things. All of them, or at least most of them, seem to have their own contextual uh, interactions. For example, so as I said, with the dotted line, I could place this here to place down another wall segment, or I could split the logs and place them as plank segments like that and the game seems quite intelligent in identifying exactly okay you're missing one at the top and the bottom so it will split it for you automatically hang on so there we go there we go how is it like rust as in you've got individual well so like floor wall roof tile slopes uh, what is it? Girders? You've got wires as well, so you can hook up ele electrical things to solar panels. Oh, Kelvin's resetting the trap. Kelvin, no, you're hurt. Fuck. Kelvin, you okay, man? Here's some meds. Okay, he's fine. Uh, ouch. Fuck off. Little bugger. Come on. Get out of here, you motherfuckers. This is why I need the wall. That was a poison arrow, wasn't it? Did I hit him? Yeah, I need more more walls, more traps and all that. Okay. Kelvin, you okay? Yeah, you just run down to the beach. Let me just reset the trap. Alright. 
So yeah, sorry. So I've got batteries linked to solar panels, which uh, I can sort of track a wire, which makes uh, light bulbs light up, which is great. That's what I mean by rust, as in compared to the first game in the forest where most of the building system was just, hey, press B, go to here or whatever, and put down a ghost. Hang on. Put down a ghost of an item and then paint it with resources. Um, yeah, it's, it's now got a, a more thought out building system with a sort of... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to find the words for it. Tileable, I guess. The first game had that, but it wasn't going into this sort of depth. God damn it! They keep sneaking in and getting killed by the traps. That one's a pretty well armored one. Right. So what do I want to do here? So oh fuck! I slipped. That's what I did. Yeah, like modular, tileable, modular. You know what I mean. So let's put not yeah not. I want to go there. We vertical up. And then contextual interface down. Cool. And then we got our next segment of the uh, the roof here. All right. All right, Kelvin. Kelvin, what are you eating? What are you eating? You better not be eating that hand. We're leaving here, dude. We're not becoming cannibals, just so you know. Well, you can fucking stay. I'm leaving. Once, you know, we build a fucking helicopter out of logs. Why isn't the helicopter landing? Needs to be set in the trap. So yeah, the NPCs help, gather resources, repair. Good man. Thank you, Aesilis. Thank you very much, Aesilis. Alright. Oh, can I just do it from here? Probably just do it from here. Can I? What the fuck did I just do? Don't know what I did. I split a log. Hmm. Uh, oh, put that there. Maybe it's missing. There we go. Right. Maybe I should get an exterior ramp so I can just climb all the way up. That could be an idea, actually. Hang on a minute. So what if I do this? So from here, put that, and then contextual lift. Oh, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> all right. Then can I just put it like that? And does that let me climb it? It does. Hey, there we go. Right. And then what I need to do is I need to throw that to the ground. I need to press sit. Whoops. Damn. Wrong button. Shit. Hang on. There we go. I need to hold C carefully. Oh, it's got a wire on it, I see. So take off the wire. Remove that. Right, here we go. Then remove this. Place that diagonally so now it's all against the floor. Then throw that away. Pick this up and then lift this up the whole way. Like that. Take this little log and stick it here for support. Cool. And then, yeah, so essentially match what I've done there. And then I'll get the full-on roof, and then I'll get some lights in, get some furniture, apparently get a, get a fireplace, make it warm and cosy. Then we'll get surrounded by walls and defences and other stuff. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Look at this. And in addition, I can do this. So with the walls built, you can subsequently take chunks out of them. It's not a case of, hey, build a door segment, and then you just paint the door. No, you just build a wall segment, and... Skadoosh! Make yourself a wee window if you want. Like that. If I went all the way down, I could just make a door. Cool. Can the NPCs die? I don't know yet. I don't know. Not eager to have test that. I, I've tried to save Kelvin each time he got hit. What's the VIP doing? I hope she's not staying over there because she thinks that's the home. I did set up a, 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 a tarp there and I didn't pull it down. Might have to go back there soon. Okay, can I get... I need to contextually select the... We'll go outside. Yeah, there's a ramp outside. Start using this. Can I make that snake down? <laughs> cool. Alright then. Damn it. Um, Kelvin, I need you to... Man, could you, would you mind... Um, I need more logs, man. So for those unfamiliar, he's, de he's deaf. His eardrums have been burst in the uh, helicopter crash. Could you please go and get some... Uh, logs, please, and drop them over in the holder. Cool. While you're doing that, I might go and get a couple of oysters down from the nearby rocks. Make a Kelvin special. So, drop that rotten meat. Yeah, back in a second, Kelvin. Wait, I'll take the unicycle. Nope, people will laugh at me. The, the cannibals are, are going to mock me for riding a unicycle. <clears throat> All right. 
Where's my second golf cart? I drove it to a river and then I continued on foot. Wait, am I wearing another dude as clothing slash armor? Yeah, don't think about it. In the first forest game, in a video that I did on YouTube, I wondered why the fuck we would do that. <laughs> now I'm still wondering why the fuck we would do that. We don't have such an excessive amount of metal, but there are soldiers everywhere wearing ballistic vests. Where are those? Sure, they're dead when you, when you found them. Just clip. There's literally two dead guys wearing full-on ballistic vests over in the uh, Kevlar. Over there, look. Just take it off them. Just fucking soak it in salt water. That'll kill everything on it. Sorry, where, where the oysters were here, weren't they? Yeah, salt water. Or steam. If an item is too delicate to, to um, submerse in boiling water, you can ap apply steam to it. That would kill everything. That's how you sterilize things that are too delicate. There we go, some oysters. It reminds me of um, so the, there was a, a show that I haven't watched, but I've seen highlights from it, and it was um, it was like Bear Grylls Survivor. You know when they take a bunch of people and they drop them out on a, like a tropical jungle or whatever, and it's like just survive. Um, one of them did the novel idea of doing uh, an all male island and an all female island. Anyway, so the female survival experts made a bit of an error because they put some meat in a canister that was meant to be for their water, their fresh water. They had two jerry cans, and the idea was, I think you were meant to use one to evaporate, what was it, like evaporate the water, and the other one to do so. There, there, there were two of them for a reason, they were using two of them. Anyway, so they put some rotten meat in one of these jerry cans, and it, obviously it went bad, and so they took that jerry can and they went to throw it away. It turns out that um, over time they started to suffer from severe dehydration to the point that the TV crew had to intervene and basically say, you have to get the other jerry can. And they explained, wash it out in the ocean. Salt water, Jesus. Get the salt water, boil out any bacteria, and it will be perfectly fine. So yeah, boil it, immerse it in salt. If it's good enough for them, then it's good enough for these guys. For Kelvin and whoever I am. He's wearing pretty effective armor. What the fuck is he wearing? Oh, Jesus Christ. He tried to dodge and uh, didn't dodge far enough. I took out your leg. You can't move, can you? That is some pretty fucking effective armor. Jesus Christ. Just finish him, dude. Don't fucking torture him. There we go. Jesus Christ, finish him! Fuck, you just tortured that guy. Oh, it's one of the golden masks. Look. No, you don't. You leave Kelvin. Shit. I thought I, thought I took Kelvin's arm off. You right, Kelvin? Go on, man. Get out of here. So yeah, lots of them are wearing shirts. They didn't do that in the first game. I wonder if they they really are tribals or if they're people that have gone crazy for some reason. Exposure to the artifact? Weirdly, no. Kelvin doesn't fight and I don't know why. This guy's a mercenary. Granted, he's injured, but... It's weirder because there's someone else with us who does fight, although she's wandered off right now. Okay, let me just go get the oysters cooked. Alright. We won't be building forever. I want to go out and explore. Um, so, what was I doing next? I was trying to get that part of the roof on. Whoops, slipped again. Put this here. There we go, all the way up. Thank you, Kelvin. There we go. Then paint that and then we're good. Okay, I'll let Kelvin gather some logs then. Let me go get the oysters sorted. Uh, the solar panels are fine. I, I, I don't know if the, the orientation matters. They're pointing northwest right now. Okay. Fire's still going. Get a bit of firewood. 
Contextual interface, dotted line. Lovely. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, some dried meat. Sweet. We'll take that with us. I think it's raccoon meat. Alright. Oh yes, feathers as well. Grab these. From the bird box. Okay, so, let's go over here to the fish trap that I made. The fish are trapped. Whoops, apart from these two, which are swimming away. What I'll do is I'll go over here and put some... Oh yeah, this is cool. So yeah, they've heavily reworked the way in which the inventory system works, so... I can now select exactly what I'm putting on. Cool. Instead of before, if memory serves, where you just kind of wing it... ...and end up with like a dried human head on your rack. What happened to those fish that I threw? Here they are. <clears throat> so speaking of fish, yesterday, folks, I felt quite extravagant because I ended up cooking something. So inspired by this game, I went to a fishmonger's and I picked up... Hang on. I picked up um, 500 grams of um, fresh live mussels, which is something I've not really done before. Normally I just, want well, get them in a... a, a a packet in the supermarket or whatever, like vacuum sealed. So I got some uh, fresh uh, mussels, and then I, um, on high heat in a in a wide pan, I um, cooked them in some white wine. Uh, everyone was taking the piss out of me yesterday because I couldn't figure out how to open up the white wine bottle because I didn't have a corkscrew and it had a cork. So I ended up sort of bashing it in with a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, like a chimpanzee. Right, fish, fish, fish. And then R. Oyster. There we go. Kelvin special. So yes, I felt very primitive yesterday. I was in my sink going, Bleh, and just sort of bashing it in. This, uh, I ended up pushing the cork all the way into the bottle to get into the, get to the wine. Anyway, so um, let's not, not talk about that. So I, uh, I, yeah, so I cooked the mussels in some wine and then I moved them to one side and then in the pan I fried some leek, so some sliced leek with a knob of butter, phrasing, and uh, then I mixed in some mushrooms and some creme fraiche and the wine that had the mussels cooked in it and, uh, and then I put in, so I broiled, so submerged uh, on low heat uh, some place fillets, I got some place and um, yeah and then sort of cooked it for about 10 minutes covered. And then I added the mussels again, and I had like a fancy, like, ooh, like a fancy place and mussel thing. Hmm. It's quite nice. Quite nice indeed. That's true, Malkesh. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I should just eat the, uh, the mussels before they just go, uh, sorry, the oysters before they go bad. Yeah, this is cool. So they've certainly taken time to do lots of little, little animations. This is fun. They didn't have to do this. Alright. And then press E. There we go. Take the whole pot with me. Kelvin special. Nice. Alright. Yes, I can make a gate, Geordie. I need to figure out how. Haven't quite got there yet, so please bear with me. Also that yeah, that fence is not gonna be the the, the fence in the end. Speaking of which, maybe I should deconstruct I don't need this now. So deconstruct this, this wire. Okay, I'll move this solar, pan this solar panel in a moment. Okay. So yeah, let's use these logs. Yeah, I could certainly use these. Wait, go the other way. So, for those joining the stream, I hope you're okay. I'm trying to get an armor bullshittery over the finish line. It's on its fifth week of work, and I'm struggling with quality assurance issues. There are about 20 left. Uh, although, I, my gut tells me it's more like 40 to 45. I was able to do uh, 15 yesterday. And another 5, I think, uh, this uh, last night and this morning. So, steady progress, but it hasn't gone as quickly as I was hoping. Then again, I'm sure the bullshitteries never do for the regular viewers. Alright. Yeah, look at this. So the logic of it, it should be able to recognise that, hey, you got you got a gap up there. So watch. If I do this. See? It's cool. It goes boop. Here. There we go. <clears throat> Still wearing the rebreather. Am I? Uh. Oh yeah. Unequip. Also, what's this? 
A paper target. Equip. Hang on. Can I place it? Gather paper targets. I can. Does it... Does the log wall cause a problem? Oh, that sucks. You think it... Yeah. I've got to put it on a stick, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, place it on the <laughs> on the back of Kelvin. Is that fucking dude? What the fuck? What have I got there? Oh yeah, cool. That's what I need. Alright. Yeah, Ringo, I, I've heard a couple of people have. It's uh, fairly close to the start location. You've got this nice water source, uh, open area. Yeah, it seems to be a good build location. Yeah, look at this. Oysters are nearby, fish are nearby. Alright. Seems sensible. There we go. My roof is missing several planks on the bottom. Several planks on the bottom. Oh yes, so it is. Thank you very much. I can remedy this. Oh, sweet. Okay. So let's try to get the roof in here and then hopefully make it a bit cozy. Get some lights in too. Right. <clears throat> Oops. Good morning, Silver. Good morning indeed. Go to the top. So yeah, I hope everyone's well. Um, what else is going on? Hang on. Uh, oh, I might need a... Might need to define it as a full... Yeah, get a proper log. Alright, stick these here. There we go. Sweet. Um, so yes, I felt quite extravagant doing some cooking yesterday. Really, this week has just been a continuation of... Uh, of just work, really. Just getting on with the bullshitteries as best I can. Not sure what the next bullshittery will be. I'll try to make it a good one. Well, hopefully this one's a good one. Fingers crossed. There we go. Cool. Then, yep, then I can put the planks down and make myself a wee roof. Oops. No, 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 no. Give me, give me, give me. No, fuck. Oh, shit. We'll get that in a minute. Get that now. TF2, maybe. I do have lots of highlights for TF2. That would be fun. Right. right. Indeed, uh, Masochist. Yes, I would like to do that. Although, give me time to properly finish this, obviously. And obviously, sit there and write a script and see if it's any good. I can't commit to making a video unless the script's good. Okay, that's a new, that's a new layer. Uh, that's a. Well, there's nowhere, nowhere for it to go if I just, it can't just float. All right, how are we doing? We're getting there. This could be quite cool, couldn't it? Yeah, get ourselves a nice big roaring fireplace. Need to go hunt some deer as well for some fur. Get some nice cozy furniture. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot the most important part. I've found another radio. I keep smashing these because I'm shit. Let's actually put it on a. Hang on. Put it on a table, so it's not on the floor, getting hit by logs all the time. Hey, Kelvin. No, no, Kelvin, I need that, dude. Are you going to take that log? Yeah, fine, okay. A table. <laughs> Kelvin just fucking clocks me for the fucking log. Cheers, Kelvin. Kelvin, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Right, stick the table there. Right. Here we go. Cool. Nice. Get some split ones. Uh, missing. Hang on. There we go. Neat. Am I missing any little corners? What's that there? Oh, wait. What did I do? Oh, no. I see. I'm just making a platform for the next. No, no. Uh, there we go. So, can I put objects onto tables? Uh, place? I can. Wonderful. Sweet. It's the wrong way around. I won't do. Uh, bonk. All right. Oh, fuck.
How can I change track? So, what do we want now? We can probably take that away because it's got its support. Nice. Hey, Kelvin. We're making ourselves a cozy home here. Right click. No, wait. There we go. And then... Oops, sorry, Kelvin. No, no, I need that, Kelvin. And this. Yeah, you walk out pretending that... Oh, no, I came in here for a different reason. Honest, yeah. This awkward, gotta save face maneuver. Right. There we go. Right. Cool. So, yeah, for those just joining, um, summary we crash landed on this island. I think we were a rescue party. The laptop that was on our lap listed three people. Was it Edward? Puffton? His wife, I think Barbara, and uh, 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 his daughter called Virginia. I think I might have, I might have found Virginia. Maybe. Oh, nice. Probably don't need this one, do we? No. Right. Okay. Can we thread? Right, take out a wire. Quite a bit of wire. And then I want to thread the wire along the log. Like that. Then down. Then here. So I'm electrifying the logs. Presume we... No, we need a... Take a light bulb. Plug it in. Sweet. Yeah, it'll be quite cosy in here, won't it? Especially when we get a nice warm fire. All right. Find anything interesting, Peter? Yes, I found a couple of uh, yachts. Oh, rotten fish. Did I drop that? Hmm, maybe Virginia bought it. Whoops. I better hide it before she uh, sees and gets offended. She has a gun, so, you know. Let's not offend the gun-toting crazy lady. Hmm? Why does she have a gun? Good question. Why the fuck did I give her a gun? This is an excellent question. Whoop. Eh. It seems like asking for trouble. Give the traumatized young lady a firearm. All right. Uh, good, those have been grabbed. Hmm. Hi there, Isaac. Hi there, indeed. Watching vids for the first time, seeing the original video those clips are from. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Well, um, all of the all of, all of the bullshitteries are just live stream compilations. So yeah, the clips exist in their original form, but uh, it's a bit boring to sift through three hours for one joke or whatever. Hence the highlights. But welcome indeed. Welcome indeed. Right. So I just missed some of the chat. Hmm. Rocket launcher. No way, Nova. No way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a, that, yeah. Bye, bye, base. Uh, right. Hang on. Don't split it. Go up here. Put this... There we go. Oh, no, wait. That's the part of the new level. No, it's the level below that I want the log. Yeah. So, like, here? Do I need to thread the edge of it? Right click? No. Maybe I have to do it from below. There we go. We're getting there. What is this, honey bunny? Explain that for me, please. For those unfamiliar, her name is Lulu. You keep, yeah, for those the regulars, you see her every day. But she is a, a seven and a half year old Frenchy, French bulldog. She's a total cuddle bug. She loves cheese and biscuits and your lap. She will stay there for hours, getting back rubs. She's a happy girl. Okay. 
cool. Looking good. Almost got the almost got the full roof on. Thank you, Kelvin, for bringing the logs. Right. So, I think we're almost good. Hang on. Yeah. So, yeah. So from the lower level, there we go. Then I can electrify the logs all the way along. Sweet. Let's do that briefly. So, get some wire. Then, oh damn, missing one. But not here. Electrify that wire, there, that log. Then this log, then that log. This log. Eh. Can't quite. Oh no, wait. Am I out? Oh, I'm out. Okay, that's all my wire. Gotta go find some more. Alright then. Yeah, I need to figure out what these are for. Zip line rope. They look fun. Fucking advert, damn it. Shut up. Shut up. Right. Alright. More furniture could be useful. Nice warm fire. So hang on, can I not move the fireplace? So yeah, we can take out a lot of this now. These logs will be better served elsewhere. Okay. Pop this down from it. There's the drying rack. So how does one remove the fireplace? Do I, do I need to destroy the wooden... Thank you, Kelvin. Appreciate it. Per piece? What does that mean? It's just a log from the back wall. It burn out. I think I did a few times. Oh fuck. Oh no. Hold C. No. Hmm. Is there a pickaxe? I don't know yet. Alright. One second. Drop these down, throw them down for Kelvin. Oh yeah, this is cool. Look at this. So I discovered this accidentally. Pick these up. Don't split them. Hang on. Watch this. So if you you don't have to actually touch the storage site or the trolley, you can just drop. They snap onto it automatically. It's cool. Well, hello, bird. Get off my fish. Piss off. Hmm. Use an explosive arrow. Use a spear to get rid of the sticks. Huh. Hang on a minute. Does that work? Is that a thing? Hi there, Kawaii. Hi there, indeed. Wait, Malka says to remove fireplaces, you can try the following methods. Turn structure damage on. Oh. And then burn the fireplace three times in a row. It will disappear. Use C to, uh, to dismantle the fireplace. Wiggle the C key and watch the parts of it move until you get the part you want removed. Really? What? Part you want removed. What does that mean? Part you want removed. Burn out the sticks first. I don't think you can. I, I think that's like the, the most basic form of the fire. I don't know. We'll see. We'll come back to this. Right. We're losing the light. Oh, I see. Has Kelvin been, re been restocking it? Ah, I'm with you. He's, he's too helpful for his own damn uh, his own damn good, isn't he? Right. All right. Thank you, Kelvin. Oh, she's here. Oh, thank you. She's here. Thank you very much, Virginia. So, as I get sorry for those who are just joining who have never seen this. This is Virginia, I think. Mm-hmm. Hi. How are you? Are you okay? Sorry. So this is a very mysterious woman. Look. She's got far too many limbs. She was a, a wild woman. She was sort of inspecting the camp from a distance. She was dancing like a ballet dancer and running from the cannibals. Over time, she's bought me berries. That's nice of her. 
Over time, she's relaxed, and now she hangs around the camp. Now, the fact that she has multiple limbs strongly implies, well, if the presence of the hideously mutated mutants wasn't already ob yeah, made, made it obvious, that there's probably, probably an artifact here. In the first game, these mutants with multiple limbs were the product of some, well, horribly aged, well, I, I don't know what it was doing. Some really fucked up artifact was accelerating cell growth, making it go crazy. There were these glass containers with cells which had like become this crazy spider web of flesh. And people put into the machine, children specifically, would sometimes come out horrendously mutated with dozens of extra limbs. One, one kid, like he essentially exploded into a huge mass of flesh which filled the entire observation room. So does, does this imply that she's been fed into an artifact? Did her father do it? Why, if he did? Was she being a, was she, was she a guinea pig? For some fucked up, insane father? I don't know. Okay, neat. Okay. It's getting quite late though, we should probably go to bed. Was that snow? Okay. Make sure that Kelvin doesn't replace the sticks. Okay, let it burn out and then we'll, uh... Well, presumably in the morning. Okay, uh, is this edible? No, it's still dripping. Okay, let's eat some meat. Dried. Nice. Have I, f have I found clothes for Virginia? Weirdly, no. I'd like to give her some clothing. She looks cold. But I gave her a gun. Which is helpful, I guess. Okay. So, let's go to sleep. Get some energy back. Have a quick drink as well. There we go. Oh yeah, I should probably move the... Uh, I keep forgetting about the rainwater collector. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got a rainwater collector. Fresh water. Oh yes, oh, good, good shout. I found some some pajamas. Um, she's dancing. She likes the music. Hi. Um, I found some clothes. Did Did you want some actual clothes? I can give her a firearm. Damn, I can't give her clothes. Where are the pajamas? It's weird that I can't give her clothing. She's wearing a fucking bathing suit. Here, pajamas. Oh, I wear the pajamas. Tactical jacket. Where? That's what that's what I'm wearing right now, I presume. Okay. I see. Does it do something different? Comfort, high comfort. Okay. Put them on. Okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? Am I am I am I wearing a pink onesie? What the? Really? Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing child uh, children's pajamas. Um. Hang on. Put this back on. Yeah, then ride the unicycle. Okay, to bed we go. Alright, hopefully we don't, we don't get jumped in the middle of the night. Give it a save. Sleep. That's where we wake up and find... Oh shit. Okay, they're here. Cannibals are here. Yeah, this is why I need the fucking wall. Shit, he's setting, he's setting himself on fire. Then he's gonna charge me. Fuck. He's trying to burn me. Oh, he fucking died. Virginia? You okay? Shit. Oh. Oh god, it's Kelvin. Don't shoot Kelvin. Oh shit. She just killed a motherfucker. Nice shooting. Any more? Kelvin, now is not the time to relax. Sorry, Kelvin, you're a fucking mercenary. Why does she have the firearm and you don't? Okay, just cower, why don't you? Ouch. Someone just threw a spear at me. Oh. Fuck. Motherfucker. Alright. You think you're funny? Whoop. I just didn't light it again. Fuck me. 
Light the fucking Molotov. There we go. Catch, motherfucker. Oh, did he run into the water? Is he running into the water? He did, but it didn't help it. Oh, it did! Nice shooting, Virginia. Okay. It's fine. We're fine. Where's Kelvin? He's run off to the beach. Okay. We're okay. Let's get back to bed. Uh, I'm, I have no more armor, actually. Hold on. Maybe it would be wise to make some bone armor. Hmm. As grim as that is. Pick up some of the corpses and put them in the fire. Alright. Again. <laughs> there's a ballistic vest on the beach. Alright. Thank you, Super Care Tor. Thank you very much, Super Care Tor. Yeah, perfectly normal behavior. Yep. There's another one still alive. Tripped on the trap. Got you. Right. Stack them up there. Let them burn. Uh, is the. F oh, shit, is she okay? Is she being threatened? Coming. Oh, God. Did you just kill a child? What the fuck? No, a woman. Drifting downstream. I see, it's one of these crazy agile ones. Yeah, they've got like, um, they've made like wolverine claws and they jump over your, your... Hmm. They jump over your walls. Okay. So can I move the furnace? One moment. Okay, the six have been burnt out. Okay. Have they? No. Have the sticks been burnt out? Light them up again. Okay, then we'll sleep. Yeah, probably. Faster to make a new one. Yeah, you're probably right. Right. So, sleep. Okay. Yeah, Virginia's okay. Okay. Right, can I move it? I can, wonderful. Oh, bloody hell! Oh, fucking minute. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. You know, you could have just removed one rock. Yeah, or like the top rock. You didn't have to pick, you know, the, the lowest one there. Okay. Right. Throw some rocks down. Where should... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh shit, it's one of these! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, this is really why we need a perimeter wall. Uh, do I have any explosive arrows? Gimme, 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 gimme. They work quite well last time. I do. Whoa, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Get away from me, you fucking freak. Fuck you. Still alive. Jesus. Fucking hell. Can we take it intact? Shoot it. Okay. Nice, Virginia. Oh, fuck! I got hit. Don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. Take meds. Take, take meds and then sidestep quickly. Don't let it hit you. Virginia, can you fucking shoot it? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Virginia, waste it! Jesus. Fuck, 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 fuck! 
Nice, she got it. Nice shooting. Well done. Holy shit. So yeah, what the fuck? No mouth on this end. Massively overgrown skull there. Massively overgrown everything. Penis head. Hmm. Grim. Can we remove the bell end? Like a trophy? No. She's bringing me something. Fucking hell. Thank you. Yeah, that was horrifying. Thank you very much, Virginia. Guana berries. Got quite a few different types of berries now. Oh, hang on. I've already got one of these. I can't combine it with anything, though. I can only combine some of them. I see. So some of them are just purely edible berries, like blackberries. There we go. Thank you very much, Virginia. Salmon berries. Yeah, up the energy. Can I give, can I give Virginia the pyjamas? Weirdly, no. Sorry, this might sound weird. Can I mod clothing on her? It feels a bit... It feels weirdly voyeuristic. Like, can I not give her... Surely there's a model that I can give her real clothing. Oh. Hello. Another one. Okay, the frequency of real mutants is starting to go up, isn't it? Not just, uh... Give it a proper explosive one. These are these are useful. Bye bye. Oh fuck! How cool! I badly damaged my base. Yeah. Okay, I can find her clothes in the game. Good. Ah. Fuck me, fuck a duck, fuck, <laughs> fucking things. Nah, I don't know why in the in the sequel they made them sk like skittish. In the first game they were just really slow and fat, but now they. Ah. Oh, she bought me something. It's a rock. Um, thank you, Virginia, for the rock on this rocky gravel beach. Thank you. <clears throat> right. Okay, we'll get out there and explore in a minute, I think. Uh, let me just see. What was I, I was doing one thing. What was it I was trying to do? Hang on. Oh, yeah, the furnace. Uh, the um, the uh, campfire. Okay, hang on. Let's put it... Can I replace that? Yeah, having it here would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Could always fix the wall up later. Hang on. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Right, put this here. Right. Go to utility, I think. Stone fireplace. Here we go. Turn it. Get its back against there. Get some nice warm rugs in front of it. Get the radio playing late at night when it's raining. Oh, fuck's sake. It's the big fat one. These ones often show up in couples. Look. Dude, can you not? Can you really not? You've got this whole island. Go find... What are you doing? Oh, he's off to steal fucking meat or whatever. Can you... Can you control your husband, lady? Ah! Oh, she's British. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want to see that. Thank you. Dude, can you... Not... <laughs> Whoa. Fucking ice queen. Nice. Okay, hang on. Pick 
these up. Kelvin will probably, yeah, stop the ones over there into the proper place. Can I throw them? God damn it. Go out the window to find the rocks. Right. Okay. So for those lurking in the background, I hope you're okay. Um, currently what I'm doing is I'm just trying to maintain the very basic base that I've got. I'm trying to make a proper cabin using the new, the new game's building system as opposed to just making a little shit shack surrounded by a basic wall. Right. I'm joined here by Kelvin, another survivor from the helicopter crash, and Virginia, I think. A young lady that I think I was ostensibly sent here to rescue, or at least search for. There we go. So, before I go, I'll try to organise... Yeah, so, pick up these bones, make some more bone armour, get some more arrows, stock up on dried food, and then we'll go out exploring. So, there was a thing saying that, um, what is it, Puffton's home. We could see if we could identify where exactly that is, and what that means. Puffton is the CEO that we were here to find? Right. I, I don't know. I think so, Kawhi. She looks similar to the picture that I saw on the laptop. So a 20-year-old um, a twenty-year-old woman called Virginia Puffton. Okay. Uh, why are we building outside the wall? This wall is going to get moved. I'm going to move it, expand it, surround more areas. Uh, this area up here was thoroughly inappropriate because it's teeny weeny. All right. Let's get the fire going. Oh, you're right, Virginia. But yeah, what else is going on right now? So yeah, work on the bullshittery. This is fun. I'm enjoying the forest. Um, yeah, did some cooking. The dog's fine. I'm fine. Don't really have any huge plans. Just more work this weekend. Oh shit, another one. Yeah, we're getting real proper mutants now. Can you guys fuck off? Thank you, Virginia. That... Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Virginia. Shoot him, please. Ugh. Careful, I'm hurt. With no armor. Nice. Well done. Good job. Alright. So, take off a piece of the flesh. Okay. Uh, Master, uh, sorry, Master Kupax. Uh, this is week five currently on the latest bullshittery. It's in its final polishing stages. The bullshittery is armor three. As uh, prairie fire, so that's Vietnam. There we go. What's that there? Just a rock. There we go. Thank you, Turkey Choke. Thank you very much, Turkey. Indeed, I believe so. I've probably got some creepy armor and maybe a few bits of bone armor. All right. So. There we go. Fireplace constructed. Throw these out the door like that. Nice. We have a fire. I'll put a... a, a what is it? A fire... Uh, like a firewood storage location next to it. Looking good. Get it lit. Yeah. Get the roof on. When it starts raining, this place could be quite cosy, especially with some deer rugs. Although living on the beach might no. Be dream, we have like I will break the fucking radio. This is my life. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought it might, I didn't know I didn't know like one was all it was all it was going to take. Okay, so we need a fourth radio now. Right. Well, I'm thick. Um thank you Warrior Gaming Actual and Dunga. Right. Oh, can't carry any more circuit boards. Let's make good use of those then. Circuit boards, what can we do? Explosive stone arrows, explosive... Yeah, probably make some more explosive arrows. Okay. Sticky bombs. No, I don't have any wire. Oh, shit. I'm all out of wire. Okay. Gonna have to wait on that front then. Darn. Do you know what I've just realised? The game doesn't really have, like, a chest system where you can store items. Isn't that odd? Many other survival games just have a chest that you can open and store stuff in. Shelves. Oh, really? Do shelves do that? Really? Is that is that a thing? Can I see? Hang on. Ooh, that could be fun. Hang on. So it has... Hang on. Shelves. Uh, have an energy drink. Maybe an en energy bar as well. Okay. The first game had shelves, but they only held a, held a few items. I can't remember, sorry. It's been too long. Did they? Whoop. Shelf. What does it take to make a shelf? Sorry. Check, consult the book. The book says what? Floors. Walls. Doors. Windows. Single steps. Basic beams. Struts. Stone wall. Stone floor. Stairs, ramp, corner ramp. Oh, sweet. Corner ramp. Ah. Railings, defensive walls, door locks, window shutters, ropes, basic electricity, rope bridges, upgraded electricity. Oh, electrical fences. We should definitely do that. Health mix, energy mix, advanced cooking. Hmm. Oh, is it pre built furniture? Is it really? Birdhouse, scarecrow, furniture. Stick bed, double bed. Tables, round tables. Hmm. Am I dense? Storage. Storage? Oh, arrow storage. Wall weapon rack. Okay. Shelves. Okay. Wall shelf. Okay, so mm -hmm. put that there. Hey! She approves. So it's a half cut one. There we go. Put that here. Alright. So what can I stick on this? E. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. Most of my items, in fact. Hey, that's pretty damn cool. Okay. So, let's stick some circuit boards up there so I can find more later. Neat! Oh, yeah, I, I'm a sucker for this as well. I love it when, um... I'm not sure how to describe it. You know in certain games when an item is just a generic box? I, I don't like that. I like it when you can physically see. That there's a sense of, um... Of, like, weight to the items in the game. Like, um, you know, like in Settlers back in the day, I loved the way that when you had a central town storage in Settlers, um, you could see gold bars pile up or, you know, um, pe like uh, bows and arrows. You could physically see them. Whereas in the later Settlers, Settler games with Ubisoft, well, it was always Ubisoft, but you know what I mean, they just had a building and you mouse over it and it says, like, it's total inventory. And then uh, the, the peon would just go in and then leave, like enter, enter and exit through the same door. I always hated that. I love it. I love this stuff. I'm a real sucker for... Oh, what have I got? Oh, I've got some crunchy wunchies, you know? Two boxes of crunchy wunchies. Yeah. Thank you, Larisek and Reva and Old Man Spooks. Okay. Right. Let's do what I said I was going to do. Let's get ready to go. You're right, Kelvin. I'm going to go explore a bit. So, let's have a look. Let's get some more arrows and bone armor. And what have I got down here? So take some meds. 
Okay. So, what have I got? Oh, Jesus Christ. I've got five sets of creepy armor. Am I doing this? Oh, fuck a duck. Ugh. I'm covered in a shit ton of flesh. That's nice. Am I going to scare Virginia? Mm -hmm. oh, no, she doesn't mind. Yeah, sure. Wear, wear the corpses of your enemies. It's fine. It's not weird at all. Okay, take some dried fish, some dried meat. Get a bunch of sticks for the sake of making arrows. I guess Kelvin. Kelvin, would you mind? Hang on. Kelvin. Oh, here comes a storm. Uh, Kelvin, never mind about the gathering the logs now. Could you fix the damage done to the base, please? Okay. Cool. Could you could you fix that? Does he fix that? What's he doing first? He's... Wait, can you fix the radio? No, it's, oh, I see. Some damage was done by the mutant. Cool. That'll keep him busy. How cozy is... Hang on. How cozy is it in here? Like, obviously, the rain's getting through there. Am I getting wet? Oh, no. I'm still... I'm seeing droplets of rain. Hopefully, when I get the foot, the roof on fully, it'll be nice and warm and cozy. I don't want, I don't want the feeling of being wet and horrible inside the house. Is it the roof gaps? Is that, is that what's doing it? I don't know. Thank you, laughing man. Thank you for the raid, there, laughing man. And hi there, birdie. Okay. Hi there, birdie. I hope you're very well, birdie. I don't know if you played Sons of the Forest, but um. Uh, hang on a minute. But uh, over here, uh, we have Virginia. It's a, it's a hot blonde lady in a swimsuit with her boobs out and a handgun. And with multiple limbs as well. She's like the perfect woman. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, it's... um. This is their poster child for the forest, uh, Sons of the Forest. Uh. No, in all seriousness, she's fucking traumatized. Need to figure out what happened to her. Hang on. So, whoops, that's a bone. Yeah, and she, yeah, and she brings us fish. I think, tr truth be told, I think the fish is more pity. I think she's like, this fucking idiot can't survive. Let me help him. I've been surviving for seven months on here. This guy fucks up and gets taken out by the first cannibal. Uh, ignore the foreskin arms. Making some armor. Okay. Does the game actually have proper plans? Like, it's fun to play, but what the um, but why the fuck does she have three legs and arms? That's what we're here to figure out, Birdie. That's exactly why I'm playing. I, I remain intensely fascinated with this series because the developers have a lot of creativity, a lot of talent, but uh, the first game didn't stitch together in any real way. Uh, if you had to really squint and uh, not think about it. So I'm curious to see if that's changed now that a story was always on the cards for the sequel. All right. So, making some stone arrows. This is cool. The little flares of construction. Is there a hotkey to quickly clear everything off the mat? There we go. This is the video I made with the jump scare at the end. It wasn't a jump scare, Birdie. It was a face reveal. Jump scare? What do you mean jump scare? Right. There we go. So, yeah, a bit more rope, then I've got lots of armor. Hell, we should have enough for a cave dive if I wanted to. 
combine. There we go. Uh, bones. Did the two two round buttons in the lower ma uh, mat do anything? Yes, they do. Lights. Yes, we have an RGB fucking survival backpack. Don't ask why. Alright. Are we good? Getting soaked. Where and where? Full armor. Okay, let's get out there. Kelvin, I leave the base in your care for the moment. I'm going out. Virginia's washing herself. We'll take the uh, golf cart. Alright. Now, where are we going? Hang on a minute. So, let me get out of here. On the notes over here, Silas, the entrance will be in Puffton's home. Make sure you close the gold door after you enter. So where is that? So do you reckon that little divot at the bottom is in fact the dock? Puffton's home. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If that's the lake... Do you reckon that's where Virginia was pointing? Can't tell. I, I don't have a zoomed up and a zoomed out enough view of the map. North is up. Do you reckon? Okay. So that's the knobbly bit. So it's over there. Let's go have a look. Let's save it before we go. Oh, hi, Virginia. What'd you bring me? A rock. Thank you, uh, Virginia. That's great. Thanks. Why am I not using the unicycle? The unicycle doesn't have a radio. <laughs> Hang on. Give it a save. You stay safe, okay? Let's go. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> Let's go. Can't hear shit right about now. Go this way. Try to go around the river. Uh, one moment, I'm ju I just need to wet the whistle. Pouring a drink, sorry. I've got carbonated water. I've got, I've got a carbonated water maker. It's working out quite well. Okay. No, I'm not going to carbonate gravy. That sounds horrifying. A 
Okay, there should be a cannibal camp to our left. Hello. Pardon me. Ah. Uh. Don't move. Ah. Missed. Damn it, miss. I need their pelts for some nice uh, carpets. Ah, lovely. So there was that digger. Here were some golf carts. With su surveying equipment for some reason? Okay. All right. So for those, yeah, for those joining the stream who have no context insofar as to what they're watching right now, uh, we have crash landed. So I'm one of two survivors from a helicopter crash uh, when we came to this island. I think on a rescue mission for Edward Pufton, who was the CEO of Puff Corp, a large pharmaceutical corporation. Yeah, we've been there. That's where we found the unicycle. So, we found a note which identifies Pufton's home on the island? Don't know what the fuck that means. Okay, do you think we can cut across? Does it loop around? I think it does. There's another GPS marker for a, go um, a uh, golf cart in front of me. Is this one of mine? No. Just left here. Hollow Springs. And a moose. Best avoid the moose. Coconut no, 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 no. Bar. Stop. There we go. As Sheik says, what if Virginia can talk normally but only saw you communicating with Calvin via a notebook and she thinks that we're both mute? Wouldn't surprise me. I think she thinks I'm an idiot. Moose. Big moose. All right. Yeah, the soundtrack goes hard, doesn't it? You know, while we're here, let's deconstruct that that canvas, just in case the, the game gets silly about it. Hang on. I'll use this conveniently placed glider. Oh, I can't carry any more of them. Can I mount it? Oh, I'll just get you. Okay. So those were the yachts that I saw yesterday, everybody. And I discovered that cultists were coming here. They were, they were sailing here willingly for some reason. All right. Hang on. I'm very experienced with the glider. Fear not. Here we go. You ready? Uh, no, 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 other way. All right, there we go. All right. Can we see anything if we just glide this way? Oh, look. Another one of their camps. On the beach. I see nothing of particular note. There's a shark. Jesus, I see a shark. Big. Three big sharks. Four big sharks. Oh, yikes on toes. Here we go. Oh, that's a rock. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I'm fine. I meant to do that. All is fine. My leg is hurting with a compound fracture. See, I thought if I pressed space, I would let go. And then when it didn't, I didn't have a plan. Basically. 
Okay, let's get off the glider. Right. Uh, foldable glider. Let's fold it away. Deconstruct this, just in case the game has logic problems by saying, hey, that's your home now. Right. And then we'll trek back up the hill to get back in the go-kart and continue on our way eastbound. Okay. So yes, uh, as, yeah, as I keep mentioning, I think we're here as a rescue party. Seven months ago, the CEO of Puff Court went missing. I'm going to assume that they're a pharmaceutical company that have been fucking with one of the artifacts that they found from the first game. Also, I'm finding... So yes, uh, contrast, compare and contrast to the first game. The cult is modern. So in the first game, it was Christians coming, and you got the impression that the Christians didn't want to stick around because they boarded shit up and got the fuck out of there and or died. You kept finding the bodies of like medieval Christians dotted all over the place. But here, the cult, the cult are actively coming here. I found this camera. Look at this. This recording shows that they're actually coming here. Cultists wearing big flowing robes. Manning the yacht. That yacht is not a couple of decades old. That's brand new. Okay. So weird cultists coming here. Are they here? Are they being drawn by the artifacts? Because obviously they're not there for uh, age. What is it? Like age reversal research, like a pharmaceutical company. Is the weird? Are the weird artifacts talking to them now? Okay. Change track. Change track? No? How do we do it? Get in. No? Stop. Stop. No, 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 no. Please, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, sir. Stop. Oh, fuck. I can't change, I can't change track for some reason. Right. So this time, instead of going down to meet the yachts, we'll go this way. Haven't been, haven't been this way before. Oh, is it? Oh, I see. I have to look at the radio. Gotcha. Right. Are these snowflakes? Are we entering winter? Another glider marker on my left. It is bloody dark. There are many of these. Question mark on the map. What's that? Uh, yes, social. Would love to. One moment. Hmm. 
nothing. helicopter again oh the helicopter just took off wait a minute have we found its launch location stop Wait. There, it's a camp. It's circling. Someone's waving a flare. Another mercenary? Oh, the axe. What is going on? Again, he's mortally wounded. Ammunition? A GPS locator? fight with mutants, a barricade. What is going on here? The helicopter got away and escaped. Jesus. So I presume these are Puff Corp security teams. As opposed to just purely rescue teams. What the fuck? Okay, I've got a replacement radio because some idiot broke the radio back at the base. MRE? What's that? A pistol rail? Oh shit, I, I thought you were a deer, motherfucker. What is going on? Fuck, can't see in the light. It's from Chuck Dagger. It's the day before the last message to Zhang, uh, the, the lawyer guy. To the lawyer guy, Zhang Yu. Keep an eye out. One of the Puffton's old researchers contacted Timmy LeBlanc, the kid with a mutant arm. He's also looking for the cube. What does that mean? Keep an eye out. So it's to the legal guy. One of the Puffton's old researchers contacted Timmy LeBlanc, so the son of the protagonist from the first game. Now grown up, now an author. The kid with a mutant arm. He's also looking for the cube. What the fuck is the cube? That has to be the artifact. It's a cube? They found a cube. Okay, so I surmise from this that I assume the pharmaceutical company found an artifact that's a cube. And it's been doing weird shit to people on this island. Oh, fuck. 
No, I don't think I am, Timmy. I think I'm a member of the press. Kill Puffton? Dollars, dollars, dollars. Kill Puffton. What is... Why? <laughs> what is going on? So for those just joining... Yeah, so I crash-landed... I, I, I thought I was a rescue mission looking for the Puftons, but now I don't know. It seems that, yeah, there's probably a pharmaceutical company here that's probably working on a mutating artifact like the first game. I don't know why its security teams are all over the island getting massacred. In the first game, Sahara Corp just sealed themselves behind an armoured door. They never went onto the island. They stayed more or less completely hidden. Uh, so far, Kiranov, so far, I've been impressed. I see, these are actually weapons racks. I get it, okay. Dollar signs, kill Puffton. That's him, that's the CEO. Some ammunition for a 9 mil. Ah, another camera. What does it show? Wakey, wakey. Someone waking up, making breakfast? Look at them, trying to get away. Not today. That's Zhang. He's shooting... One. He's killing the cultists. Hold. Holy fuck. The disavowed lawyer, Zhang, was hunting down and shooting cultists that were running around the island. Did you see where he was in that second part? Look, hang on. That explains another part. The graves. They're cultists. Oh, shit. Okay. Look. This is a security officer. It's not Jang. You can tell by the clothing. So he's hunting them. Look at the dirt. So that's why there's so many wooden graves full of skeletons. They're burying them. They're shooting the cultists and they're burying them. But this guy was disavowed. By the company. What does this say? Notice of employment termination from Edward Pufton, the CEO, to Zhang. So that's uh, 16th of August. A couple of weeks later. Zhang Yu, I saw your little tape, Get Off My Island, Ed. Okay, so it wasn't sanctioned by the company, or at least not by the CEO. Weird. Do you reckon these security officers... Do you reckon Zhang Yu has done a little bit of a coup? Has he taken the security staff and taken over the island? Not just gone rogue with him, but the security officers as well. Has he made himself a dictator of his own little fucking paradise? That would explain why we were shot down. That would explain what happened to Edward Puffton. He was presumably killed. Ah, oh, I'm out of water. So hang on, the corporation might not be in control of this island anymore. It could be Zhang Yu and his own little private army of security guys. Okay. Yeah, the helicopter could be Zhang Yu himself. Okay.
I yeah, that's that that's where I'm going right now. That's what I'm thinking. I think the lawyer dude has got a bunch of the security guys with him. I think these are his guys. And they they've taken over the island. Ah, frying pan. <laughs> Oh, I missed some loot, did I? Sorry? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, I'm full of C4. One moment. Can I actually... Now that i found some wire, do you think I can actually make some... Hang on. So, take some 3D printed arrows that I made earlier. Mix some C4. Um, so, explosive 3D printed arrows. So, there's a couple of batteries and a couple of circuits. These are actually really useful. Yeah, yeah. These things are awesome. Can I make more? I uh, need four more. Nah, I'm quite light on them. Okay. What about these? Do these work? No. Okay. Can I make actual... Uh, hang on. More... Just regular bombs with the C4? What can I make? Explosive... Oh, no, hang on. Explosive carbon fiber arrows. I can. Explo you can make... Yeah, just dif different flavors of arrow. Okay. So carbon fiber. Arrows. Um, no, no, no. And then... No, no. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Right. Interesting. So wait, I thought, based on the map, that we were going towards Puffton's home. But I guess it's further south. It's further that way, isn't it? There's a large lake down there. Okay. Let's make a small canvas and save, and then go that way, shall we? See if we can find Puffton's home. Oh, sorry, yeah, collect the C4. Thank you, chat. All right. Yeah, let's rest to get some daylight. Don't know why we can't rest in the tents that are here. We have to make our own little shitty... Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck me. It's the ones without eyes. Oh, fuck! Okay, these are actually fucking freaky. Yeah, these are actually real fucking freaky. <laughs> Ah. Ah. They hit each other. I don't think I can convince these ones to flee because they can't see. You know what? Let's just get the fuck out of here. Not worth, not worth, not worth. Just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Find my little golf cart. No oh, shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Give me in! Ah, da, 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 da. Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. Piss off, piss off, piss off. Woo! Now is not the time for crunchy wunchies! Fuck! Sorry, I'm sorry, little rabbit, I'm sorry. Ah. Ah. What's this? Derelict ones. Observation site? What's that? Hang on. Jesus. Jesus. Well, that worked. Hang on. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, don't you jizz all over me. <laughs> God. Jesus, I've never seen those things. More conjoined ones. Jesus. Fucking hell. Die. Die by golf. Death by golf cart. Jesus. So, yeah, many of these are horribly fucking conjoined, aren't they? Ah, damn it. Freak. Wait, why can I harvest from this? Is this a true mutant as well? It is. Fuck. Fuck. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, indeed, I do need to go to work soon, but I'm a bit sucked into this. So hang on. Yeah, derelict golf carts. These ones have been broken down. Get more of their flesh. What's this? Sorry, this is why I stopped. Wait! They are golf carts! What the fuck was that? A golf club! A putter! I thought they were just golf carts to like get- oh Jesus! To get like a get around a corporate retreat or something! You know? Like Austin Powers, get around like an evil lair. I didn't realise that there'd be actual golf carts. For playing golf. Okay. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. So, one minute, sorry. Let's, uh, rotten oysters, I forgot to eat them again. Have some more energy drink, try to stay awake. Oh yeah, yeah, just throw it, you know, why not? That's fine. No wonder the cannibals are going after you, you're a litter bug. Alright. So, Pufton's home. Construction workers. way. Roads are rubbish. Oh God Almighty! My golf cart, and you burn! Damn it! Okay. That idiot set himself on fire. I'm trying to find this marker that says Puffton's home. 
What are you doing, you dingus? You set yourself on fire and you have no one but yourself to blame. Also, there's a butt on the back of your head. Do you want to join him? Hmm? Is that what you want? Hmm? Suck on that, motherfucker. What the... It blew up over there? How does that work? <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Oh, did it bounce off his armor? Did it deflect? I don't know. Anyway, hang on. They're not important. Check the note again. So, for those just joining, so here, look. The entrance will be at Puffton's home. And we've assumed that north is up, right? So, Puffton's home. So that way, right? Or is it one of the caves? Maybe he's against this river? Zoom out fully. Can I see a structure, that little wobbly bit? Oh yeah, okay, so that's the island, right. Puffton's home. This way, I think. Closer to the coast. Alright. Yeah, closer to the sea. Alright. Let's get in. Although living on the beach might seem like a Damn dream, it. we have struggles like everyone else. These are my friends. This is my life. And this is Dana Point, California. Friday's at 9 on KXTV. Uh oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, shit. Woof. All right. So, we're looking for whatever this X on the map could be. Oh. 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 Wait, what the fuck? Log cabins. I get the feeling this is probably not it. I'm not sure. Fuck. No, I didn't eat it. Oh no. Old, very old. Rusted and broken fishing nets, look. Corrugated iron. Many years, if not decades. Our cultist friends, maybe? Yeah, look. Is that a wreath of flowers? No, wait, what is this? Solophyte ore. Solophyte? I've heard that name before. It was mentioned by that newspaper. Some manner of drilling, no? Christian crosses, upside down crosses. So Christian iconography. Car battery, some wine. He's got lots of knives stabbed in him. Forks as well. Stabbed in his eyes. No, this doesn't look like the home of a CEO. These were not suicides. It's a display, isn't it? Unless these two committed suicide and this guy just didn't understand the process and tied himself up by his ankles. Baking flour, what? Just a deer. Hmm. What's that? You can't be serious. You can't be serious. Oh no, wait, sorry, sorry. I misunderstood. On looking closer, I thought we were, we were looking at a helicopter made out of sticks and a car battery. It's not. That's an antenna. Isn't it? Right? 
What is that? I don't know what that is. Windmill? Oh, maybe. <laughs> that's not... That's not how it works. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how it works at all. Okay. This game has fantastic Looney Tunes logic. If that if that is a windmill. Oh, yeah, just spin a bit of wood around a light bulb. That's how you get power. Okay, hang on. I don't know. Antenna? I thought it would be an antenna. We'll see. Okay. So I'm guessing our cultist friends. Right. Puffton's home. Closer down there, I would imagine. You know what we could do? We could do a bit of aerial scouting to see what we could see. That could be a good idea. Let's get the wee glider. Let's get the, yeah, get ourselves a little launch point. Let's see if we can figure out, without dying, if there's anything of note. Yeah, fly over the smoke. So for those joining the live stream, not sure what's going on, I'm playing as, I think, a journalist who has crash-landed on this mysterious island full of crazy cannibal people. The island is also occupied by mostly dead security mercenaries, I think, that belong to a corporation. And weird mutants. And I think the, the island is meant to be owned by a corporation, Puff Corp. But since there's a rogue employee who's been seen, who's been spotted murdering um, religious people that are coming here, I suspect that the island might be a bit of a private, well, I think they might have had a bit of a coup. I think Zhang, so the lawyer, the disavowed employee, might have decided to take over this island, probably motivated by cr crazy artifact shit. I don't know, I'm just sort of reaching right now. Okay. Save before I fuck up? Nonsense! Yees of little faith. I never fuck up. I'm a flawless glider pilot. I've only crashed. Here we go. Here we go. Right. So, are these merely cannibal camps or something more? Okay, so I see a cannibal camp. Probably nothing of particular note. Wait, tell me, tell me that's not what I think it is. Is that really what I think it is? Is that a golf course? Is that a golf course? Are we looking at a golf course? If so, that explains the fucking... It's a golf course. That's a golf course. Ha! <laughs> and the digger. I see. Okay, I think we found the rich people's playground, everybody. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just saying before I land, if you can legitimately play golf in the game, like put down a small, like find a golf ball and start fucking playing golf, I will be so fucking impressed. As like one of those little minor things that they didn't have to do, but they did it anyway. Okay. So I assumed it was a resort that was set up, but maybe it's maybe this island wasn't a resort. Maybe it was just some fucking rich billionaire's retreat. Hold on a second. Hold on a fucking second. Hold on a fucking second. Did Puffton know? Did Puffton realize? Did he buy this place as his own? Oh, there's something down there. Did he just buy himself his own private island as like a dick waving thing, not realizing that there was a fucking creepy ass artifact cube or whatever it was here? Start building his own little golf course and fucking billion billionaire's retreat, you know? So why, why would you do this? If you're a pharmaceutical company, why would you build a huge fucking... They're, they're building it. It's not here. 
It's not like they've taken over a resort and they just happen to have a golf course. Here we go. They built it. They were building it. This is super cool, by the way. Fuck you! Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's coming for a landing. You watch this amazingly smooth landing. You're going to be so impressed. You ready? There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Meant to do that. I wasn't trying to sail over there to land on whatever that blue thing was. Majestically, I clipped my legs. All right. What, what was the blue thing? Aha. Okay, more security personnel. Making a little barricade. Ammunition. Carrying some stuff. A grenade. More grenades. That's very handy. Okay. So, I saw something over here, didn't I? Okay, two markers of note. Right. So, yeah, that, that's what I, I think is going on. I think that Edward Pufton, the CEO, bought this place without knowing that there's a weird fucking artifact here. Because he's building what looks like a resort or a private retreat or something. Like a billionaire's island. As in, why would you do this if you're a pharmaceutical company researching a... Yeah, you're going to make a research lab. Or maybe it's both. Maybe... No, no, actually, the paper did say for age reversal technologies. So maybe he was just making... Oh, I'm going to make... Oh, fuck it. I'm going to go to the surface and make myself my own little home. He's a billionaire. You know, reality and being a billionaire, they don't tend to fucking mingle. That's true, my character's knackered and hungry. So let's just have a, a yeah, so a piece of dried meat. But why, yeah, then why go to the bidding war with Sahara? Yeah. Oh yeah, ignore this. I don't know why he eats a fish like that, it's weird. Yeah, maybe it's a bit of both then. Maybe they wanted it because of the artifact, but also he decided to build a, a resort on it? Aha. And then, whilst building the resort, or at least this part of the resort, they cracked one of the cannibal caves, didn't they? Mm -hmm. They were building a pit. What is it? Like a bunker. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay. Okay. Construction crews got murdered by another G GPS locator. So these diggers were bought here seven months ago. Okay, that establishes the timeline. So these aren't ancient decades old. They've been here for under a year. All right. What's this over here? Another pair of golf buggies. All right. Hollow Springs. It was on the on the golf buggy. Hmm. Yeah, hold on a second. Maybe it's not for him. Maybe. Sorry, I'm just. I'm not fishing for the correct answer, chat. Maybe Edward Pufton set up a resort here because the cube that they found, which I'm guessing is probably something to do with this weird ass picture. Hang on. It doesn't really look like a cube, does it? Maybe if you sit near it, you get younger? So they made a spa for rich people to come here and and hang out, you know? Let's go poke inside the cave. I, mm, oh dear, the time. I'm running out of it. 
Da this bullshittery is never, never going to get done, folks. Hang on. I'm meant to be in crunch time for this bullshittery, but I'm spending fucking hours and hours and hours playing the forest. Hang on. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's give it a save. Right. Wait. Did I... I didn't save. Uh, save. Have I run out of slots? <laughs> Done it too many times. Save it there. Alright. And then deconstruct it. No? There we go. Okay. Let's see... So whilst building their golf course, they broke into what? Oh. Oh, well done. Oh, I like that. Seamless transition. No loading screen. Uh -huh. Nice. Actually, hold on. Don't do that. Let's use... How many battery packs? Oh, I don't actually have any battery packs. Okay, save the torch until I really need it then. Right, what did they break into down here? Rope. Ah, hold on. I'm actually relatively low on armor. I've lost all my bone armor in that previous fight. Oh, God. Let's put creepy armor on. Yay! Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's that? A bit more rope? Canned food. <laughs> uh, coins and rope. Equip the torch again. Oh my god! The torch is lit already. Oh, thank fuck for that. No stupid faffing around lighting the torch on every interaction like the first game. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, could this be that ore that they mentioned? Strange. Okay. So what hang on, let's have a look there. So Switch over to that. Yeah, what was it? Sorry, let me just read the bottom. Here we go. So, Puff Corp. No, hang on. So, that was buying of the remote island. Who is Jack Holt? I don't know who that is. Okay, hang on. I saw your little tape get off my island. Silas. I don't know who Silas is. This was on the boat with the cultists, so I'm guessing they came here to get to his home. Okay, down here. Hang on. So mining industry abuzz with breakthrough technology for solar fight hmm. for solar fight extraction. What does that mean? The mining industry is on the verge of a technological revolution as it turns its atten it, it, sorry, I'm trying to read that attention towards a newly discovered material called solar solar right fight. This ultra du durable, energy efficient substance has the uh, something reshape everything from something solarphite is a, a crystalline material found deep underground characterized by its incredible strength and thermal conductivity early lab tests suggest that it has multiple applications including in renewable en energy electronics and structural engineering the demand for solarite is expected to skyrocket in the coming years as its full range of uses something so traditionally the extraction of similar materials has been expensive and labor-intensive and hazardous. However, a... not sure... of new technologies aims to... a slew of new technologies aims to streamline the process. Automated drilling systems, AI-driven machine, AI machinery... Um, capable of drilling at an unprecedented at unprecedented depths. Okay, with pinpoint accuracy. Huh. So this is a new type of material. All right. So maybe that would also interest. Well, it's a pharmaceutical company. Hmm. Yes, indeed, Derek. I saw that too. With an. With an orange marker on here. It sounds like there's another... Cave-in, maybe? I cannot proceed? Wait, I did find that ore, didn't I? Did I pick it up? Can I do anything with the ore? 
Oh yes, good shout. Is there some contextual interface that tells me I can blow this up, maybe? No, it doesn't really look like rubble from the first game. I think it's just a dead-end cave. Okay. Hmm. Uh, sorry, where's that ore? One moment, let me just open up these skin pouches. Delightful. I don't know why the cannibals have put zippers on them, but okay. Here we are. Right. Have another energy drink. And then just throw it away, because you're a slob. Fuck you. And then eat a raw oyster. Mm-mm. Delicious. Don't eat something on your arm. Whatever you do. Okay. Or, 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 or. Where is the or? Turtle shells. Pajamas. Next to the cans. Oh, it's teeny weeny. Solophyte ore. Okay, I cannot combine it with anything. Huh. Peculiar. Okay then. I think this might just be a dead end. Or maybe if I f need to find Solophyte later, maybe that's just a source of Solophyte. Alright. Interesting. So, let's see then. On my GPS marker, so that, yeah, this is this golf course. Okay. So what's that over there by these diggers? An orange marker. Let's go investigate that as well. I wonder, can I glide... <laughs> Hang on a minute. Take up my foldable glider. Get a bit of a run up on this. Hang on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that didn't uh, didn't go quite as well as I was hoping. Let's try that again. Ouch. Okay, you know what? Third time is the charm. That's what they say. Let's get ourselves a little bit of an oomph up the rock. And then I'm going to glide majestically like a majestic thing. Right, there we go. Uh, uh, right, ready? Feeling it. Here we go. Whoop! Oh, that, that actually worked! Alright, here we go. Let me glide majestically over the golf course. Beats walking! Okay, now we're walking. Right. Put that away. Where the fuck am I? This way. Okay. So for those just joining the live stream, um, yes, I've managed to find a golf course, of all things, on this crazy cannibal island. And I think it might be the... I think it might be like a... a, a mm, I think Edward Pufton, the CEO of the pharmaceutical pharmaceutical uh, pharmaceutical company, was building a resort, maybe for rich people. Maybe if you sit near the weird artifact that they found, if they have found one, maybe it age reverses you. Music. More of this material. But someone else has been in here. Stashing things. Okay. So maybe these are simply locations where this material might be relevant later? Okay. More canned food. More cloth. Rope. 
duct tape, more rope. Strange. I cannot extract it. Good point. Well, I can make t a tech armor without this stuff. I don't know yet. Okay. Interesting. Let's keep exploring. One second. Let me equip the golf club. It's a putter. Can I? Oh my god! Wait for real? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. for real? Wait a minute. Small stone. Ah, oh, hang on. Oh my god! You can play golf. Oh my god! You can play golf. Hang on. Is there an actual ball? Can we find something that could be a golf ball? What if I... Hang on. Take an object and just drop it. Okay, no, it becomes an object in the game. Right. Right. How do you, how do you think one... Maybe I've got to physically find a golf ball. Probably wouldn't make sense to use a rock. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. How cool. New objective, find golf balls. There's a, uh... Hang on. Golf balls? Uh, okay. Another golf club. Done. Okay. Holy shit, I really hope you can. I really, really hope you can. Um, let's... Hang on. Zoom around in this for a moment. Right. Let's go. Get your vodka and a tracksuit. Let's go. Oh shit. They hung him from it. This is where I landed, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hang on. The helicopter again. Where is it? Is it coming to land? Coming to observe? What is it doing? Oh shit, fuck. Hang on. There it is. It's circling again. Why? What's that? Another one another one of their camps. Looking for their own survivors?
What are you? Who are you? Are you the lawyer? Yeah. Jesus, that one was brained by golf club. More C4. More barricades. Okay. Oh, what's this? A tactical jacket. Okay. I think I was wearing a tactical jacket. Some meds, some cash, the modern lawyer. Okay. Oh shit, Virginia, Jesus, don't do that. You scared the crap out of me. Okay. Virginia's here. So for those just joining, I think this, I think, this is Virginia Pufton. I think this is the daughter of the CEO. Fuck. Uh, you are not dressed appropriately for this weather. Your nips are showing. Can I get you, hang on, can you not wear this? Wear, wear this tactical uniform. Damn it, I need to get some clothes. She's practically naked. Mm-hmm. What, what do you mean, uh huh? You're gonna fucking freeze your nips off! Hang on. Right. Pardon me? Look out! Oh, for fuck's sake. Quick, skin it before Virginia notices. Quick. There we go. It's alright, she won't wonder where the uh, the new sofa came from. Back in the... Uh... It'll be fine, she won't notice. Oh. Cannibals being creative again. Aha! Okay. Oh, wow. Jesus. That's creepy. Okay. So, as I said in the glider, here's our test, everybody. Okay. Can I... So, ah, oh. hang on. Maybe I've got a hold. Do I have to? Do I like equip it? Combine it? Equip. Hold. So hold is a big swing. Surely, surely they wouldn't. Oh, did okay. Did it? Can I? How, do I, how can I find it though? How can I? Is that it? Oh shit, Virginia. Oh hi, Virginia. Thank you. But it worked. Hang on. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Shame that it's rolling around a lot though. <laughs> okay. How do you keep track of it though? If you were to play golf, like if, you, if I were to like smack it, if I, if I were doing co-op, right? How would I then track where it went? Okay, though. Holy shit! Kudos to the developers. They actually let you do that. All right. With GPS, that would be a good idea. Yeah, like temporarily have your golf balls appear on the GPS. Hello. Do you mind? Well done, though. Yeah, I did say, you know, if they went to the attention to detail to mean that you can actually play golf. How cool. 
How very cool. Right. Shit, I was really hoping to find Puffton's residence. I've run out of time, folks. I'm so sorry. I've got to walk the dog this afternoon, so I've got limited time. The dog walker's not available. Okay. Right, well, thank you for watching, everybody. So I'm going to have to leave it there, make a canvas and save it. But yeah, we've managed to figure out, well, a few more pieces of the puzzle that it seems we the, the guy with the gun at the beginning is probably the antagonist. And by the looks of things, he might have taken over the island, maybe, with his security goons. So Puffton, Edward Puffton might be dead. The, the company might no longer be in control of the island. That helicopter might be Zhang, maybe. Observing his people. I don't know. Wait, so, new theory. Am I him? Look, not him. If I'm not the protagonist from the first game, am I Jack Holt? Look. Who is Jack Holt? What is he doing here? 28th of April. That was after he was sacked. Puffton didn't have any friends. No, that's too Chuck. Maybe it's not me. That's not to Zhang. Hmm. Okay, I don't know who Jack Holt is. More pieces of the puzzle. Right. Okay, anyway. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. So, the mystery continues. So, give it a save. And we found what appears to be Puffton's private golf course, or maybe a spa, or maybe a resort. Don't know yet. On his weird island. Right. Thank you again, everyone. Have a lovely afternoon. Let me just have a quick look and see who's playing what. So, I need to deliver this bullshittery. And I can't deliver the bullshittery if I live stream all day. So, I need to go and, um, hang on. Get on with the quality assurance for Prairie Fire Bullshittery. This evening will be a large-scale game, game of Armour 3, which is going to take a shit ton of time. So I've got to do the best I can with the very limited time that I've got. Between now and, is it half seven, I think it is? So get some lunch, and then by then it will be like, what, 15 to 3. And then, yeah, do what I can between uh, 15 to 3 and, uh, and uh, half seven. Right. Thank you again, everyone. Have a wonderful uh, well, have a wonderful uh, yeah, afternoon. Hope to see you for a bit of armor. And currently, yeah, yeah, after. so Ryu is live streaming. So Ryu is an artist lady that regularly does stuff. Uh, you probably see her in the chat from time to time. Uh, she's currently playing Hell Divers Two uh, with her own personal group. So I'll leave you with Ryu. So please be nice. Please be friendly. Hang on. And uh, yeah, so she can explain what she's doing. So this is the artist Ryu. Have a good one, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon.